Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Freedom City 1165 in Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. Right, okay, so last time I got uh, started with the Artificial Sun, which is collecting materials and is going to take a while to build. Um, I'm also putting some uh, lasers, which I'm going to bump the priority of for construction uh, over here to protect it. Um, you really don't want to have to rebuild it and reignite it, right? Uh, that would be inconvenient, uh, I think is the best way to put that. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna have the artificial sun kicking about over here. That will generate a thousand power, if I recall correctly. And uh, yeah, uh, I think it's a thousand anyway. Uh, and then uh, that will be uh, quite um, exciting. Um, why do I have three rockets? Oh! Yeah, okay, that's because I got the uh, that rocket event. Right. And this guy, yeah, okay. No, it's all good. Uh, I I remember now, uh, I think. Okay. Um, right. Yeah, actually, once I have this, I can probably get rid of all of these solar panels over here. Yeah, I, I can get rid of all the solar panels and uh, cut the, ma the uh, metals um, demand substantially. Um... Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, there's that. Now, let's just uh, take a look here. Uh, we're doing Martian-born strength. Let's just check in on the science. Uh, that's going to be uh, no sanity damage from disasters. That would be good. I should have researched that ages ago. Aerodynamics for faster shuttles. Uh, resilience for no sanity damage from working in out of dome buildings and then cargo hangers for more shuttles in a shuttle hub yeah that's all uh that's all quite uh, quite good uh, okay yep that's that's fine um, now let's uh let's go uh oh we're almost at 10 percent atmosphere too uh, let's go check in on here is there anything to see here well we could go in here and we could contact them and uh, then okay we'll do the trade nuclear fusion that allows us to build a fusion reactor uh, which takes people um, yeah uh, I don't think I, I want to do that but uh, again trading with the rivals is not, uh, you know, the other colonies, is not going to harm your game any generally because they only really compete with getting anomalies, right? So uh, that that's really it. Now, let's just uh, duck back down here into the underground. Uh, where we are doing stuff, we have cleared out a bunch of stuff over here. And these guys, um, hmm, yeah, that's out of range. Okay, uh, so what I want to do, I probably want another drone hub somewhere up around here. Uh, yeah, I probably do. Um, so I'm going to... Um, drone hub. Yeah. Uh, uneven terrain. No cable connection. Uh, we can put it here. Yeah. Okay. And we can put a power wire up to that. Uh, theoretically. Uh, 
Okay, so I want to come down that one. Just like that. Okay. So we can build that. Yep. And that will get uh, these guys cleared. Yep. And then this guy can uh, can move move on. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's that. Um, okay. Um, let's let's let things go a little bit faster here. Um, I think perhaps um, I might also want a. Uh, universal storage up all up around here. And this desired amount. Yeah, we'll do three. Uh, no, we don't want to desire rare metals or food. Um, or fuel or seeds or even exotic minerals for that matter. Uh, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll leave that there and let some things happen and that will, uh, that will allow some stuff, you know, to be doing its thing. Right. Okay. So that, uh, I can let that, uh, tick along in the background for a minute. We have a cold wave in three souls and we have a meteor storm in three souls. Okay, well, uh, that's perfectly fine. Uh, we have our uh, widgets here are up. Good. Uh, this one, uh, let's also uh, bump that priority up. So then we'll have three widgets covering that. That should be enough. Yeah, that should be enough. Um, okay, so uh, how is this coming? Slowly. Uh, probably would go a little bit faster. No. Nope. It might go a little bit faster if there was more drones up here. Uh, okay, let's, let's just bring it up to an even 10 drones there. That, uh, that seems like it might almost maybe sort of be useful. Um... Our uh, empty rockets are just about arriving, so that's good. Um, good. We have... Ah, we're slowly working up our uh, resources there. Yeah. Okay. Starving colonist six. They're all in the. They're all in the murder dome. Okay. Um. What if I? Uh, what if I add more of those? Yeah, that will uh, that will really get things uh, uh, running here. Yeah, so we need another 100 concrete, 120 concrete. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fine. Uh, polymers is where we're going to be a little bit short, I think. Um, yeah, it'll be polymers, but we, we make a lot of them. And we're almost at 10% atmosphere. It's uh, ticking up pretty quick. Um, when this gets up to 50%, we won't have cold waves anymore. Uh, that's half the concrete, uh, a third of the uh, polymers, uh, just under half the metals. Why don't I just go and land the rockets now? Oh, they're over here. Uh, okay, so we can land a rocket there and land a rocket there, and we have rockets coming. And... Poof! We have rockets. Okay. Now, is there anything exciting we can do here? 
Well, I don't know. We can wait for autosave. Um, right. Uh, what I should probably do is build the, the water pipe that this is going to need. Yeah, build the water pipe. Uh, these extractors will uh, take the brunt of the uh, uh, the load, I think, on the uh, the thing there. Oh, we're not that far short of polymers. We're producing them at a pretty pretty phenomenal rate, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Uh, okay, so we need twenty more concrete. Which we have. Yep. We almost have all the metals in, too. It's funny, if you put enough drones at a problem, it can make a big difference in how fast things happen. Got a, we got Martian-born strength. Um, that is good. Uh, yep. Renegades stole from Sterling, huh? That's Sterling. Yeah, they can steal from Sterling. Uh, right. Ah, uh, right. Um, okay, so another half dozen metals. And then we're just waiting for polymers. Which... Shouldn't take that long. No, it, it really shouldn't. We're, we have... Let's just take a look here. We have 35 children. Yeah, okay. So that means population's going to be going up. Uh, should be, anyway, I think. Uh, so we need f 30 more polymers. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh... Yeah, we have low polymer just because we used them all up. Yeah, go figure. Um, oh, look. We have... Yeah, we need 14 more. Uh, so, about a Salsworth. Uh, yeah. Well... Uh, that won't be a big, uh, big problem. It, it, it really won't. Um, we have nine Earthsick colonists. How do we have Earthsick colonists? We still have 60 Earthborn, that's how. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's from the refugees, right. Uh, from the war. Uh, okay, we just need nine more. We have a stack of these, and uh, we have an anomaly over here. Aha! We have a science anomaly. Well, this is fun. Uh, okay. Well, our, uh, our explorer will go ahead and uh, analyze that. Scan it, that is. Oh, we're at 10.7% now. Um, yeah, that'll be... Where are we? Oh, we're down at the bottom. Okay. Uh, meteor storm. Cold wave in five hours. Uh, low resources. Right, okay. Well, there's our cold wave. So let's just... Uh, go back up here and uh, observe that it is night and we are 44 power short. Um, and we're... Oh, we have a, a net positive for water production. That's, uh, that's kind of impressive. Now let's just take a look here. We just need five more polymers. Um, over here we have ah it's going over that way okay uh right okay right over here yep 
Uh, okay, I, I I just want the uh, artificial sun to uh, to complete, right? Uh, three more polymers. Two more. Uh, it's going to be one more, right? Yep. And then polymers will start going up again. Uh, yeah, the the cold way, 167 power short now. Um, yeah, okay. Well, uh, depending how fast this fills up, we might not have a problem. Uh, we got 1,500 uh, science from... Uh, from our research from that uh, you can come back over here yeah um, and you are constructing yes and we have constructed a wonder we got a milestone um, we're grabbing a hundred water uh, right. We're sucking up water. And, oh, uh, what I should do is uh, put the uh, power cable. That would be, uh, that'd be a good thing to put in here, wouldn't it? Why don't we put a power cable? Yep. Yeah. Uh, just uh, so that it can start sending the power out as soon as it starts making it, right? That would be useful. Um, uh, we're going to have a shortage of water briefly. Uh, it stops using water uh, when, the, when it uh, ignites. And uh, there it goes, the artificial sun. Yep. Um, and it's producing a thousand uh, power. Yes, I was right about that. And now our water production. Oh, it thaws the ground around it too. Nice. <laughs> We've completed Martian aerodynamics. Now, that hasn't fully ignited yet, has it? That is kind of cool, though, the graphic there. Um, oh, it takes polymer maintenance. Interesting. I should put a tribo up here. Yeah, I should put a couple tribos up here. Yeah, that, that does look cool, though. Um... Right. Anyways, uh, we have an artificial sun. Now, the, uh, the meta is to put a stack of uh, one, uh, one hex um, uh, solar panels around here and uh, just cash in on the extra power from the light. Uh, but, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll leave that uh, going here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this. Okay. Yep. That's uh, that's definitely uh, fine. So we've got a uh, we got thawed ground around it. Yep. Okay. We've built a wonder. Um, we have. Uh, we are now researching Martian-born resilience. Yes. We have a solid two-thirds left on the uh, cold wave. But that's... 
going to solve the power problems. Uh, and what I'm going to do is actually uh, take um, these uh, solar panels out. Uh, you know what you should do? You should prefab some of them. Yeah, I probably should. Uh, prefab. Refab. Refab. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I should definitely do that. Um, let's just up the tempo and let things... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, just uh, sitting around there doing its thing. Yep. Uh, we got a quake underground. That should be fun. Yep. I'll, I'll check in underground in a minute. Um, right, so I, I, uh, fab, I, I prefabbed six of those. Uh, I'll do another... half dozen of them. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, now I can uh, get rid of uh, these. Uh, and that has... Uh, Yeah, okay, and now I'm going to need to put a uh, power cable in, like that, like that, yeah, okay. Well, that, that will definitely cut the metals maintenance a little bit, um, just because, um, well, we're going to have... Uh, yeah, we're going to have less stuff that's just metals heavy, right? Um, I'm not going to mess around in there. Uh, that's uh, that's too complicated. Uh, now, the cold wave is done in 19 hours. Now, I'm going to go and drop down here where we can uh, click to view cave in. Apparently not. Um, okay, and we'll clear these. Yep. Definitely need to clear those just so that we can uh, see what's doing over here. Clear that one too, and that one. Yep. And then you can come up this way. Um, you can clear, you can clear. Uh, looks like we've got a fairly big space over here, uh, which we can uh, look in on. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. That is a fairly big space. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. This is uh, 
This is going to take a minute. Because it's out of range. I see. Uh, okay, so if we go in here. Oh, we can build fusion reactors down here. But they still need workers. Um, we need a uh, drone hub. Um, uh, yeah. Just put another drone hub over here. Yeah. Put another drone hub. Now, uh, put a power cable. Yeah. Uh, that comes this way yep so we're daisy chaining drone hubs across here um uh, i think probably also what would be useful is uh no it's uh it's in here uh this put one of those there uh-huh. And now let's just uh, jump back up here uh, where our uh, our uh, cold wave is done. Yep. And our polymers are going back up again. Uh, we have 270 electronics and 237 of those. Um, is there another wonder that we can... Uh, we haven't researched any other wonders. Okay. Right. Well, that means we can just accumulate stuff some more. Um, yeah, machine parts depot's full. That one's full. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Nebula Dust Devil couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, good for Nebula. Uh, right, building's not working. Uh, oh, we don't have enough uh, of the um, rare uh, rare metals. Um. Yep, that's fine. Uh, we are producing those um, at a decent rate, though. Um, you are a concrete plant. Um, yeah. Right, okay. Well, it's... Uh, it's working anyway um take a take a gander back down here where um this guy is going to go online real soon now right well after all of the stuff in the way for the cables is cleared then it will uh it will go actually online. Yeah. Uh, one more bit of uh, debris, and then it can uh, can build the wire. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. The wire's uh, doing its thing. We have the drone hub. Now we just need the uh, last bit of wire. Uh-huh. There we go. And now we're clearing. Ooh, uh, we found an anomaly. Uh, okay. Um, clear that, clear that. Uh, clear that, clear that, clear that. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. Now, 
we can go over here and scan that anomaly. Uh, the Jumbo Cave. Yes. Okay. So what's the Jumbo Cave going to do? Uh, this is... Uh, this is a thing. Uh, this is the uh, second mystery, the underground mystery, right? Uh, okay, so... Uh, come on, finish scanning. And we have... Uh, we have a message. Okay, the Jumbo Cave. Our explorers have made a startling discovery. Uh, unparalleled in size. Uh, cave is a solution cave. Da, 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 da. Well, our engineers are already... Uh, uh, Let's see, they are reinforced the cave. Uh, effect, uh, Jumbo Cave Reinforcement is now available to build. Okay. Jumbo Cave Reinforcement, complete. Yeah, we're not going to be building that. Run some ex extra experiments. Okay, well, we uh, we have another uh, anomaly there. Let's just pop up here. Uh, okay, uh, things are things are doing here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, everything's okay there. Uh, so we'll come down here. We have 51 of these. Yeah. Um, okay, so we'll let... Um, we have a metals deposit. Ooh. Oh. That's interesting. Uh, right, okay. Now, if we come in here, where is, is it under here? Jumbo Cave Reinforcements. Ah. Must be built in a Jumbo Cave. Ah, okay, that's where we would build it. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Uh, based on the data collected, etc., I believe that applying a small, etc., to that we get better sight how to best uh, support the overall structure. They admit the experiment has a risk of cave in. The experiment is worth the risk, reduces the construction cost. Let's take the risk. Experiment successful. Uh, it costs 20 less uh, rare me or uh, exotic me uh, minerals and less metals. Um, Excellent. Luck is on our side. We found another anomaly. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm going to let this... Uh, uh, if we uh, come back here and... Yeah, now we're down to 180 of those. I'm going to have to start uh, exploring uh, uh, asteroids. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to have to build an asteroid lander and all of that jazz. Uh, yeah. Okay. Because we're going to need the uh, uh, these things. Yeah. Uh, unless uh, we actually find some with uh, uh, with these anomalies, right? Uh, but I definitely want to support the Jumbo Cave. Yeah. Uh, just because... Uh, it's good space to uh, to use for uh, doing stuff, right? Uh, this is yeah. Uh, structure test number two. Building on the previous test, uh, experimental data has a higher risk, etc. Team is anxiously 
Um, let's go for it. Failed. Uh, causes cave-ins and some buildings are damaged. Uh, okay, we gambled and lost. Splat. Uh-huh. Clear that. <laughs> that was uh, that was kind of fun. Uh, yep. Yeah. Clear that. Clear that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Clear those out. And I guess we can. No, that's just out of range. Malfunctioned. Repair it. Yeah. There we go. Um, no, we'll go over here and uh, analyze that one. Uh, I'm going to chase these for a bit here. Uh, oh, we've got another... Uh, we had cave-ins over here. Okay, well, that's fine. They can be over there. Uh, right. And we have... Some excitement here with a scan. Going to complete. This will be another uh, uh, do an experiment thing, I'll bet. Uh, right. Um, okay. Uh, we're going to do it. Successful. Whoa. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, that was worth it. Uh, reduced by 100 and 100. Uh, okay. And we don't have another anomaly. So uh, the we're down to 80. Uh, we still don't have enough of them, but it's a lot more cost effective. Uh, what does it need? Um, metals and concrete. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, you, you're going to actually just, uh, construct it, aren't you? I'm going to start constructing it. Yep. Uh, it'll use up the, uh, resources that we've got, but, um, uh, it will, uh, it will also be a uh, uh, something that can happen, right? So now we'll come up here, and uh, I just need to check here. Um, can I build rockets? Rocket. Um, asteroid lander. I can build an asteroid lander. Okay. Oh, we've got the resources to do it too. Okay. So the first thing I need to do is uh, build a landing pad, which I will put here. Maybe here. Nah, here. Uh, put it here. Just there. Yep. And I'm just going to do this, and I'll put the cut here after I start building the rocket. And then we can start uh, start looking at asteroids uh, next time around to get get enough of the uh, these things uh, to actually do uh, to do what we uh, we want to do. So an asteroid lander, bam. Okay. Uh, there's also. Uh, recharge. Uh, no, I need to do research to, uh, to get that, don't I? Uh, deep space scanning. Uh, Uh, 
Okay, well, let's uh, put that one in there. And where's the recon uh, center? Uh, no, uh, so it's going to be... Is it in here? Uh... No. Uh, research. Recon Center. Um, too far from domes. Ah. Could put it right here. I could. Uh, you have... Unemployed 19, 3, 1. I should put it up here. Uh, okay, recon center. Uh, put it right there. Now I'm going to need that as well. Okay, uh, so that uh, that should be uh, that should be the excitement for uh, for this episode. Uh, so uh, next time around, uh, we start with some asteroids, uh, and that's uh, going to be. Uh, a great deal of uh, tedious stuff, uh, I'm sure, uh, but it's uh, some stuff that can actually happen. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're on to doing actually something. Uh, so I guess uh, I'll just uh, mention, uh, if you for some reason want to support the channel, you can. There is, in fact, a Patreon that you can use, and it, the link will be in the description. Uh, if you don't want to, that's fine too. And that said, see you back next time.